yoga for spirit being as a being the being level you don't need any separate meditation or yoga all our yoga or meditation is to reach that level that's all if you can experience that level or stay in that level you don't need any meditation or yoga the aim of the yoga is reaching the level of being or the spirit first thing what do i mean by the word being or spirit let's analyze let's analyze what do i mean by the word being in sanskrit we call atman you can translate it in a very superficial way as consciousness consciousness is not equal in our exact translation of atman but we have no other way we have to use the word consciousness soul is much poor word consciousness is at least little better than soul so i am using the word consciousness actually being cannot be expressed by a single word you can say what is not being and make people understand what is being but you can't pinpoint and say what is being because whatever you can pinpoint is only related to mind you can't say anything about the being because it is something beyond mind it is something above your intellect your logic again and again our masters declare it is beyond the body beyond the pranamaya beyond the manomaya beyond the vijnanamaya the different sheets different koshas you have five bodies according to our upanishads are the five part of your being first thing physical body which you are having made out of flesh and bones you know next thing the pranic body all the prana movement which is happening inside your system inhaling exhaling all the other prana movements in your system third thing your inner chattering that is called manomaya fourth thing the deep sleep state what they call vijnanamaya which you experience at the time of deep sleep fifth thing anandamaya of course which you experience very rarely when your mind is totally in peace when your mind is totally in silence it is very rare people experience this anandamaya kosha it's like if you are continuously asking for something for example a sweet particular sweet continuously you are thinking about it you want to have it you are working for it suddenly one day you get that sweet when you put that in your mouth the restlessness which you had for that sweet or continuous thinking which you had for that sweet it disappears it comes down your mind becomes a little calm for few moments that few moments you experience anandamaya kosha you experience the joy which is from your being but unfortunately your mind starts thinking that joy is from the sweet then you start running behind it you think 
if you create a same situation or a same atmosphere, you will be able to experience the same joy. If that is the case, continuously the sweet must give you the same joy. But it is not giving. Four sweets, okay. Fifth, it's all right. Sixth, you say, I think, no, 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 too much. Seventh, you try to escape from it. If it is from the sweet, it must only continue or grow. If it is from particular space or particular situation, it must continue or grow. But it is not our experience. Sometime you go to the beach, you feel a sudden peace, calmness in your mind. If you think, oh, the beach is associated with peace and calmness, try to go every day, but you start experiencing. You will sit there, sit there and start your regular worries. That's what I always tell people. It is not the outer space which decides. It is the inner space which decides. The person who can't create the inner space of bliss can never have vacation. You may try your best to change the outer, outer place, to ch try to have vacation. You may try all your best, all possible way. But finally, you will end up only in the changing the place. You will never have changing the space. It's like a... Understand this one example. If you are sitting in the office and worrying, it is work. If you are sitting in the house and worrying, it is homework. If you are sitting in beach and worrying, it is vacation. That's all. <laughs> That's all we know. We don't know anything else. When you try to associate peace or bliss with the outer space or the outer situation, outer things, you try to repeat the same thing. But you will not have the same calmness, same joy, same peace, same ananda from that space, from that thing again and again. If you somehow learn the technique or manage to tune, tune yourself with your being and open the Anandamaya Kosha, the bliss space, continuously you will be able to stay in that space. Continuously staying in that space is what I call Nitya Ananda, the eternal bliss. Thank <laughs> you.